Well, we had some storms move through earlier today, and we're not out of the woods quite yet. No, we're seeing a few more redevelop and move through. Uh, the worst of the action right now is two hour north. This okay. is up near Mount Pleasant, near Midland, uh, but we do have some action to talk about. First of all, the severe thunderstorm watch that continues for those counties in that pink shade. That goes until 11 p.m. tonight. Like I said, we are tracking some stronger storms, even a tornado warning, which is north of our viewing area, but it's up there. Uh, it does include the Midland area. You can see that red shade box, but for us keeping a close eye on this cluster of uh, showers, there was some lightning and some thunder with this north of Grand Rapids a little bit ago, but it's really been weakening. That being said, we'll keep a close eye on this and like I mentioned, the atmosphere is pretty ripe, right? It's hot, it's humid, it's somewhat unstable, so a couple thunderstorms to fire off between now and sunset certainly can't be ruled out, but I think a lot of us will stay dry and see a picture like this. 83 degrees. How about that? Keep in mind the normal high this time of the year is in the mid 70s. We're all in the low to mid 80s right now, but it's even hotter than that when you factor in the humidity. The heat index, what it feels like in the middle to upper 80s, even feels like 90 right now in Owasso and Battle Creek. So kind of toasty out there. Stay cool if you have any plans to be out. So again, the atmosphere could produce another shower or thunderstorm uh, in our viewing area. That being said, I think the worst of the action will be off to our east and our northeast. Uh, right now, though, still keeping a very close eye on those storms to our north as they continue to move off to the east. That's this evening. Then in the coming days, we're going to see more action here redevelop. You'll see just the general flow is from the southwest to the northeast, and that's ushering in this warm, humid, unstable air. And you can see more moisture back out to the west as well. So the next few days, pretty much through Friday, we're going to have the chance for showers and thunderstorms each day. As for this evening, the high resolution models, I want to show you this. It picks up on one or two developing, but I do think, again, that most of the action should be off to our east and northeast and then continuing to move that way. That being said, we'll keep a close eye on things. If we do have one or two storms develop, they could be strong too severe with some strong winds and some hail. Again, though, the worst of it should be to our north and northeast. As for your Wednesday, we'll start at 7 a.m. Should be dry early on, maybe a shower out there, but watch what happens as we head into the afternoon. We'll see a few more of these showers and thunderstorms fire off. These could be strong too severe once again. That's round one during the afternoon Wednesday. Then in the evening Wednesday, we'll have this second batch come through, uh, likely more of a line. And this is where we're going to be really more concerned with strong winds. But again, some very heavy rain, lightning and thunder and strong winds will be possible as that continues to move through even by 11 o'clock in the evening, still around, but beginning to shift southward. A couple of showers may linger into early Thursday. I do suspect that we'll see more dry time in the afternoon Thursday. So tonight, keeping the chance in there for an isolated shower or storm, but most of us will stay dry. Everybody dries out overnight with lows in the upper 60s, back into the mid 80s tomorrow, with a few showers and thunderstorms firing off during the afternoon. Then more are expected in the evening, and again, those could be strong to severe. A few showers linger early Thursday, then overnight Thursday into Friday, more showers and thunderstorms are looking likely. Another pretty good chance for some rain. The weekend does look better, but later Wednesday, and then Friday, two good systems that will give us some beneficial rain, but maybe some strong storms All right. as well. Something to keep an eye on, especially for those high school football games. Yeah. Brett, thank you.